everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for joining me once again. I want to give a shout out to Mara and Marty who sent me PayPal donations. God bless you. Thank you very much because winter is coming. Yeah, I ordered um, some non-slip woolly socks to prepare for the cold weather. It's been cold here, about 48 degrees and rain for the, about, oh, the last three days where I'm at. I'm still getting tomatoes. I picked six more today. I'm surprised they're ripening up with the cold weather. Three or four of them are huge, about the size of a um, baseball, a softball. I wish I could share them with you, Maura and Marty. There's nothing like fresh, organic, homegrown, ripened tomatoes. Yeah, I'll have them on my sandwich today for lunch. So thank you. Thank you very much. I got a whole bunch of really good videos for everybody here. A bright fireball lit up the skies over several states early Tuesday morning. On October 14th, Alabama, Arkansas, Georgia, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Louisiana, Missouri, Mississippi, North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee. Yeah, at uh, about 2.11, 2.14, a.m., and people reported the bright green flashes and even booms that they heard. Two meteor showers known for producing bright fireballs, particularly bright shooting stars, became active on Saturday, October 11th. The southern turds and the northern turds began together, creating a six-week window through late November. Every year in October, Earth enters a debris stream left behind in the inner solar system by comet 2P Ick, which contains pebbles and large sized debris. The toured fireballs are easier to see because they are brighter and move more slowly than normal fast moving meteorites or meteorites. The toured's name comes from the fact that the meteors appear to radiate from the constellation Taurus which rises in the east by late evening. Unlike the Perseid, or geminid meteor showers in August and De December, respectively, the southern and northern turrets don't have a particularly high count of shooting stars on their peak nights. However, um, the rocks, the pebbles, and Ix debris field means that they do tend to produce very bright fireballs. 66 reports were sent in to AMS and 15 videos. Here you can see some of them that were posted. This one lights up really bright green. I don't know why. There's more off on the site. I'll give you a link to this so you can view what was sent in. And they got four photos. Many came from Arkansas, Kentucky, Mississippi, Tennessee, Alabama. Georgia, Missouri, uh, what else we got? Indiana, um, Louisiana, uh, Louisiana, North Carolina, South Carolina. Cherry, who is from uh, Tennessee, said it was the most amazing phenomenon I have ever seen in the night sky. It lit up my porch like daylight, but made no sound until the rumble I heard 20 or so seconds later. I went directly over it went directly over my head and continued in the direction I was looking. It started as a blue white light then left a red glittering sparkles as it slowly faded. Alex from Nashville, Tennessee said it was extremely bright and lit up the whole sky in that direction scared me half to death. It looked really close. I bet you the meteor hunters would be out there. Drake, also from Tennessee, said, I've been looking up and, and studying astronomy and using telescopes my entire life. This thing was so bright and close and intense that it scared my wife. Oh, it was pretty good. It was so much more intense than um, any video or footage of large fireballs lighting up the night sky in recorded history. I sincerely cannot understand how we didn't hear a boom or anything despite being in the car driving down the road. I fully expected it. 
you know, like uh, Kelly Banks, like boom, he expected. Wow. Shannon from Arkansas said it looked huge, and they've never seen anything like this before. There was also a report from Spring Hill, Tennessee. Um, they A lot of people said it was green, but some said it was dark blue and light blue, and there was a delayed sound. This event evidently frightened a lot of people. Another report that came from Nashville, Tennessee, said absolutely awe-inspiring. I was not actually looking for meteors, nor was I even aware of the turrets. It just happened to be outside, so initially I was stunned, confused, and even a bit frightened at the sudden and almost complete brightness at that hour. After realizing what I thought it was, I still had uh, what felt like lots of time to watch and appreciate it. When I went inside to research a bit, I discovered it was a fireball. I feel so fortunate and grateful to have witnessed such a wonderful sight and will remember it always. So did you happen to see this fireball? If so, put your comments down below. Yeah, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, comment what you think. Yeah, another sign from heaven. Yeah, we're told that these things are going to happen. So what are your thoughts? Thank you very much. Please uh, be safe. Always be prepared for a disaster. That thing was huge. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.